What gives you the confidence that Peter will, be, will win the election? And which part of the country do you think the votes will be coming from? Now, uh, my own thinking is that uh, this election will go to a runoff. Mm. It won't end on the first ballot. It might not. The chances of it ending on the first ballot is slim, but it is there. But one, APC is not on this ballot. Really? Yes. APC is not on this ballot. What makes you think so? That's what I'm going to tell you. APC, uh, as I told my friend before this uh, ticket came up, I said, if you are going to do a Muslim, Muslim ticket, the consequences is this. Every Christian in Nigeria will feel slighted. Not only the North. For every Christian all over the world will feel slighted, their religion insulted. The fact that you think there's no Christian capable of doing this. And the fact that you have broken a non-convention. It's always been Muslim, Christian, Christian, Muslim. But you, for some reason, will break this convention, and so Christians will take it personally. So you will not get any vote from any Christian somewhere. I say, and my friend, if you are going to do a Muslim, Muslim ticket, how on earth can you expect to beat Atiku or Konkoso in the north? Atiku, a Fulani Muslim, a prince, Atiku, this is his fifth run. Every, every run he accumulates some experience and skills. You, are, you, are, you have no experience in presidential election. Essentially, you are relying on people that are unreliable. So how are you going to get the votes in the north? So my thinking is that Bola will not get 25% in the KB, Sokoto, Nasar, uh, Zamfara, Kano, uh, uh, Yobe, uh, Borno, maybe Borno, maybe 25%, maybe. In all the House of Fulani states, it goes nowhere. Now he has fought the Christians, he has antagonized the Christians. So he loses Adamawa, of course, Adamawa is a Tiku territory. He loses uh, anything from Gombe, Gombe, anyway, because of bad governance, the people have abandoned APC. He loses Taraba, he loses Plato. He loses uh, Benue, he loses Nasarawa, he loses Kaduna, South, Kaduna, he loses... Where is he going to get the votes? We'll get the votes in the Southwest because of affinity. It's our turn syndrome. It's our turn syndrome. And maybe, and I told him, Ebola, these mega churches that have millions of millions of members are Yoruba churches, the big churches, Living Faith, Deeper Life, Redeemed, Love, whatever, Love World, or the other one. They are all churches. And these are the people that are the major opponents of a Muslim Muslim ticket. So you can't even count on the Yoruba vote totally. And I think in any case, PDP has always been strong in Southwest. So why are you going to get the votes? You don't even, end. during the convention, you didn't even allow us to go to the Southeast, says a waste of time and money. Uh, South South is not his territory. So why is he going to get the vote? So they are there. If they like, they come third, depending on how Concorso does, because Concorso will do well in terms of 25% in most of the Hausa states, particularly Kano, Jigawa, Sokoto, Katsuna, will do well. The candidates, the good candidates that couldn't get tickets in APC or PDP have taken the tickets in Nasarawa, in, I mean, from NMPP. So they have solid candidates that are electable. So they will do well. Atiku, of course, will clear most of the northern states. Atiku will clear some states, maybe one quarter, 25% that he gets. So Peter Obi, whatever he will tell you, they will vote Peter Obi. He has five states there. Peter Obi will, will get 25% in the six uh, south-south states. Peter Obi will get 25% in the north central states and part of the northeast, southern Gombe, they'll do Peter Obi. They don't want to hear any other party there. Adamawa, the rank and file, the Christians, they don't want to hear any other party there. It's part of the fact that it's under Tiku territory. 